You ain't shit compared to what I've been through. Alright guys, real quick before I get started with this episode of Fear the Walking Dead, um, I just want to update everyone. I know that it's been a minute since I've uploaded Fear the Walking Dead. I'm not giving up on it. I'm not done with it. Um, I have just been out of town. My nephew was born and I went to Texas and now I'm in New York for a month. Uh, well, probably like two and a half more weeks, but or two more weeks. But um, I, I've just been crazy, crazy all over the place and I had a ton of movies I had to react to for Patreon that kind of took up all my daytime. So I'm trying to get this all sorted so that I have enough time to do everything. Uh, but I am getting caught up right now and I'm really excited I have missed this show. And I'm excited to get into it. I just want to get into it, guys. Here we go. I just want you to do one thing. Kill me. Whoa. I got bit while I was crawling some of the dead and well, I want to do what you said. I, I want to help. The place I've been living, it's got everything you need under one roof. Uh, wow. A bookstore, a bunch of places to get clothes, a food court. Oh, no. Hell, there's even an urgent care. <laughs> I feel like one of the first places people would raid would be a mall, because it really does have all that stuff. Bury me someplace outside. Just put me under the stars. Aww. Ooh, god damn. sometimes when they kill walkers it seems like their skin breaks so easy and like their skulls and stuff but then other times when they're like beaten them up I feel like it doesn't break up break that easy so I don't know it'll be enough <laughs> she's getting candy how has no one ransacked that damn place yet candy beans is a jawbreakers now candy what <laughs> how would no one have thought to look through ooh look through the mall Hey, did you talk to him? No. Aww. Oh God, does she know who it is? He must remember what I said on that tape. I think my blood sugar's a little low. That's why I grabbed the candy beansies. Well, then I haven't had one in. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you keep calling those? Candy beansies. <laughs> candy beansies? Yeah. Jelly beans. What? Morgan! <laughs> He's like, what the f? This might take a while. You two really think about going down there to kill someone who's already dead? It was his last wish. And he helped them, so maybe they should help him. Oh, f. Grace? Hey, Grace? Hey, hey, Grace? Need a first aid kit, please. Hey, Grace. Grace? Oh you my god. They need to get some of those, like, I don't know if it is the blood sugar thing, but they need to get some, like, what are those fucking things called? The, that's just, like, straight sugar. <laughs> They're, like, little powder, like, what are they, what are they called? Pixie, pixie sticks. Pixie sticks. Grace? Shit. Grace? Grace, can you hear me? I hope it is just a low blood sugar thing and not, like, her radiation issue. Candy beansies isn't what you call it, right? No. Jelly beans. It's jelly beans. Yeah. Is that a product placement for jelly beans? <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't find out too late. <laughs> We're gonna get you back to the caravan. You said it would just be a matter of time. It could be the start. Or it could be a cold. Exhaustion. It could be a lot of things. Guys. I don't know. It's also like what sucks about that is like you would never know like what's wrong with you because you can't just go to a doctor and like get tests done. They might have doctors, but they can't do tests. Is that Daniel? Logan and his people just hit another truck stop, not too far off. Oh, they've got so like go, codes. Circle up with the others. We are caravans growing. We need everything we can find in this place. And send the kids north using back roads. You should go with them. No, I'm staying you here. You need to get checked out. Whatever this is. I'm gonna do much better in here than I will do in the back of a semi trailer. Let me go and get some. Mm, that's debatable. I kind of want Grace and Morgan together. We both chose something else. We did. Could have given up the oil fields. Let Logan's guys have the gas for themselves. We needed it. Other people needed it. That's right. Mm. Tell me, please, how, how, how this is gonna end with them. You know, I have faith in people. 
and everybody, I have to. We're just getting to know each other already. I got faith in you, Dwight. Grace. What was she planning on doing? I wasn't going down there for him. Oh, f I was going down there for me. I've seen people die from radiation poisoning. I've seen people get cancer from it. There's an urgent care clinic just off the main concourse. They have x-ray machines, maybe an ultrasound if I'm lucky. They don't have power though, do they? I want to know. I need to know. Help me get to the generator. Oh. I can take care of the rest. Was that what she was trying to do when she was trying to go down? She wasn't being suicidal. She was trying to get to the urgent care. How are they going to know how to run an x-ray machine? <laughs> Ooh, f I was hoping you'd follow me. Why else would I say where I was going on an open channel? <clears throat> Ooh. Did Dwight think this through? What is his plan right now? Almost there. <laughs> it's like a little kid having so much fun with that. Well, what in the hell y'all waiting for? Oh, where'd she go? What the f is she doing? Sorry about the siren in the background. What is her Grace. plan right now and why? We will get to that generator. We just have to wait until he gets back. Ugh. Why did they not just go? Like, what was the f point Ugh. i'll give you a couple bullets yeah 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 you're gonna shoot unless i tell you where the oil fields are and what's logan want with them anyways you know what he wants control Who gives a shit? god this seems dark <coughs> mm. son of a bitch look at my face man been through worse <sighs> whole lot worse people do <laughs> you ain't shit compared to what i've been through that guy's probably pooping his pants at how not scared Dwight is. This is all my fault. I could be up in the food court right now eating jars of pizza sauce. <laughs> so that you just call pizza sauce. <laughs> my mom called it tomato toppy. <laughs> <laughs> Making the most of what you got. We should all be doing the same. <laughs> Very true. I am so not brave. Yes, you are. I always overthought everything. Car leases, gym memberships relationships maybe great at my job but not much else oh don't set yourself short oh, well. i want them two together they'd be cute you know you can always find another horse to ride you see one lady that has been torn to pieces or morgan think about it morgan it'll be cancer thyroid and maybe in the lymph nodes that's heartbreaking that she kept going knowing that that would eventually kill her. And it's not even like you're gonna be the hero and it's just gonna kill you quick and painless. I don't think I've ever seen you smell like that before. <laughs> I saw the tape, Morgan. Come on, they would be so cute together. The least I can do is try to help you with yours. Is he gonna open up, Jerry? Nice. I'm cooking. Had tie and the scene of books on tape at double speed. Let's get to that generator. Why is the scene with Dwight so dark? I got no clue why Logan wants that gas, but he wants it. Yet you're doing this shit. When you go that long him. without something, well, it makes you do even crazier things to get it. Can you go a mile around here without finding one of them tapes y'all made? I gotta mm. say, when I saw your part, that's the only the only I one thought, bad thing is it. I get this guy. And <clears throat> tells the bad people stuff about them. Snatch. Don't touch that. <laughs> See, that's the thing. When we get good snatch, and I mean really good Shut snatch. Shut the f up. What a pig. He better not do something with them. Mmm. What a dick. No. no. A good idea. 
I'll keep burning these <clears throat> things right up until you tell me. I know he doesn't want those to be destroyed, but those are less important than lives. Ooh. Oh, yes! Beat his ass! Damn, he should have done it. He won't be able to see. Oh, I know. Morgan. No, this is we stupid. Need you to turn it off and just get down. But now you won't be able to see and they'll be able to smell you either way, right? Morgan? Why is this episode so fucking dark? Oh my god. <laughs> my boy, he was um six when I got him one. Remote control car. What was his name? He's Dwayne. I like that he's opening up to her. I fucking ship it. He made me smile. Oh, he was smiling. I guess it reminded him of his son. First date with my wife. Jenny, found myself <coughs> smiling this giant, stupid smile all night afterward. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the one he has up now. You have somebody? No. <laughs> now we're getting to the important conversation. Why not? Some reason why I didn't get up on that horse, I guess. He was right. That's why I didn't let it happen. Gotta let yourself be happy. They're totally gonna get together. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. They should turn some of the fuses off or something so they can save some of that generator. Damn, now they're gonna go all over the damn place. This <laughs> is all these new sounds and lights and everything. Also, I feel like having the lights on and stuff in there is gonna draw people in from outside. Oh my god. Of course. Get in there and close it! Well, what in the hell are they gonna do now? Should I go turn the alarm off? Where's the yes. shut off? Nothing. They're <laughs> just riding the fucking escalator up. Hell yeah. Shit. Oh, that's kind of smart to make it go first, though, because it'll constantly just bring them down. Chuck. Oh. It's alive. What? Just come on. You want to know why my gun wasn't loaded before? Because you were right. I am an asshole. Or used to be one. When you walk out of these woods, you're gonna have a choice to make. You can go on being an asshole, or you can figure out someone else to be. Aww. He's come so far. I hope maybe if we see this guy again, that he'll end up helping quite for him, like sparing him. Hey, we've been looking for you. Yeah. Stumblers busted in the security office and uh, they followed me into the stairwell. I hope they didn't cause you any headache. No. <laughs> Not at all. If I could just make it to the roof, you know, maybe I could see them one last time. Aww. This is sad. Just this guy's luck, a good though. guy. Cloudy night. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's sad that they're gonna be with him for his last moments. Is she gonna get her x-ray? Oh. I don't wanna know. She's not gonna do it. Sorry, what? He didn't wanna die here in this mall. I don't want to either. After all that shit, <laughs> you don't even wanna do it. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Really? Yeah. Really. Cute. 
Smile though. His smile though. You look good. Aww. This is cute. They could easily clear out that mall and make that mall like a sanctuary. Not like naked sanctuary, but a sanctuary. I was hoping they'd have a cinnabar. I really like those. <laughs> I didn't see one. Damn it. They have a Sin City? Don't think so. <laughs> a Bonary? No. <laughs> Daniel. Love him. In their triumphs and defeat. Finally! Through the long years to come. Thanks. I see the evil of this time and of the previous time of which this is the natural. Oh my god, he's shaving it all off? And getting a haircut! I don't know why I just got so excited about him getting a haircut. Oh my god! Useful. Generous Aww. and happy. And in Aww. the hearts of their descendants. She made it normal Generation tense. She's not in a rush. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. He's smiling. Morgan. He's falling in love with her. What are you smiling about? No reason. <laughs> cute. That's cute. I'm not going with you. What? She should have backup and... I think that's where I ought to be. Of course. Of course. Ugh. Morgan, you got a good thing in front of you. What are you doing, man? And I'll see you soon. I swear to God, if she fucking dies before they get to see each other again. Are you kidding me, Morgan? I feel like she's gonna die or something before he gets to see her again. Is he just afraid that like he's gonna have a repeat of his wife so he's just like distancing himself? Because like once he got called out for smiling by Daniel, he all of a sudden was like, oh no reason. I really feel like it has to be because he felt like history was repeating itself. Like he was finally smiling again like he did with his wife. And he doesn't want to lose Grace too, especially because he knows that Grace's time is most likely limited. And he freaked out and is now distancing himself and it breaks my heart because they had a good time together. They had fun together. They were laughing together, smiling together. Like Morgan hadn't smiled in a long time. And uh, it breaks my heart that after all that, he's just gonna like, like he was the one who gave her a whole speech about like, you don't know how much time you have left, but you can't like live it. Like it's your last, you can't be reckless, blah, blah, blah. Like so concerned about whether she should keep going or not, but then he's gonna distance himself because he's getting too close to her. It's just kind of hypocritical in my opinion. They would be so good together. They really would be so good together. And it breaks my heart that he's not giving it a chance because of that. I really like that Grace chose not to get the x-ray and to see what's going on because that's all that's gonna do. Like if she has no choice in the matter of what's gonna happen to her, all that's gonna do is slow her down and make her have a terrible outlook on life. So if she is gonna live in this world, in this apocalypse world, where there's walkers among them, you might as well just not know and just let it take you when it's gonna take you or, you know, you know what I mean? Or die from a walker before it can. Like, it's, it, you can't live a full life if you're just dreading when you're gonna die without being able to get any treatment. And I think that that was really good of her to, to make that decision. And I hope that she's in, in the group in the future. I think she's just gonna go back with the others, but I don't think that this is over. I don't think that her and Morgan are over. I think that it's gonna have to be a topic of conversation of Morgan just being fully honest and being like, I'm letting myself feel something for you and it scares me because last time I did this, I lost my wife and son. And I just really hope that he doesn't refuse the opportunity that is in front of him because he's afraid. But this was a really fucking good episode. The whole Dwight thing and, and Dwight choosing to not kill this guy and let him go and give him a second chance was amazing. He finally got a haircut, hell yeah. And the whole, the whole, like, the whole scenery of just the mall is awesome. And I don't know why no one has just, like, taken over that place as, like, their own little bunker. Because it feels like malls would be, like, thick. And besides the doors, I feel like there's a lot of doors. But they could, like, work to, like, cement them or something. I don't know. Uh, but this was a really, really good episode. I'd probably give, like, a 9 out of 10. It wasn't my favorite, but I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Looking forward to the next two that I have to watch. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Oh, my God, I'm
something